Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, She conceived the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mary, help of Christians, Pray for us. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning. Welcome to the shrine of St. John Bosco the Dreamer. Together with our personal intentions, we also include the following. For the gift of life and birthday intentions of Emilda Impok, Jerry Josh, Kyle Benedict, John Adolf, Carl Alwyn, Raymond Gesingen, Ivan Lazarte, Carl, MJ Rostia, Joshua Inigo Salgado, Marcos Sulayao, Jose Dacay, Miguel Gabriel de la Cruz, Paulo, Henry, Carl Ivan Sotito, Lende Bulliosos. Thanking God for the gift for the 39th birthday of Sister Madeline Barrera. For the, for the healing, recovery, and good health of Alma M. Yalong, E.J. Caballo, Edward Lloyd, Demetrio Bernados Amparado, and of Sias Namra del Reyes Galon. For the intentions of Kristen Tan, John Lloyd, Joseph, Christian, Brian, Ramjel Lozano, Sophia Ross Absalon, Prince Leonard, Adam and Fami, Maria, Alex Ocampo, Faris Yelong, Jane, and of Salvation Ortiz and family. For the eternal repose of the souls of Jinky Labastida, Tito Mantella Sr., Manuel Kanangkaan, Santiago Boza, Sigun Segundo, Felicissima, Fidel, Telma, Macario, Tiofer. Mass intention for the first death anniversary of Juanita M. Quezona. And for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, especially those who died in war from natural calamities and of COVID-19. Please all stand. <laughs> Unto the Lord, let your song be sung on the mountain side. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we begin our novena in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. We present to the Lord our prayers of praise and thanksgiving as we also pray for our personal and community intentions. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. We, we have sinned against, against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And, and grant us, us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Have mercy. Let us pray. Set our hearts aflame, O Lord, with the spirit of your charity, we pray, that we may always think thoughts worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you sincerely in our brothers and sisters. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the girl prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Eliza took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Eliza said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Alyssa answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Eliza replied. Still, if you see me taken out from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Eliza went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisa saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Eliza gripped his own garment and tore it into two. Then he picked up Eliza's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Eliza, Elisa struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Eliza? When Elisa struck the water, it divided and he crossed over. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you and which toward those who take refuge in you. You show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. 
the Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms giving may be secret. And your father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room Close the door and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds his disciples and all of us about the three acts of prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. But he warns us also with these words when he said, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. And with this warning from our Lord Jesus, we can ask ourselves, why do I pray? Why do I give alms and do acts of penance? Do these acts express my love and devotion to the Lord? What then is true devotion? In his work entitled The Introduction to the Devout Life, St. Francis de Sales tells us, that there is only one true devotion, and it's nothing else than true love of God. St. Francis de Sales said that there are some people who think they are devout because they practice fasting, yet their heart is full of hatred. There are some who consider themselves devout because they spend hours in prayer, and yet soon after they pray, they speak words that are annoying and hurtful to those around them. 
There are some who are generous in giving alms, and yet they cannot forgive their enemies. We are reminded by our Lord to do these acts of prayer, almsgiving, and fasting as external gestures of our internal devotion and love of God. The eternal, external aspects is inseparably knit to the internal and is meaningless without it. Our Lord Jesus calls his disciples to be vigilant over the intentions of the heart and never to lose sight of the reason for practicing pious acts. If devotion is genuine, then this pious acts needs no other spectator except God. St. Francis de Sales also said that living a life of devotion or a devout life is a life completely animated by the love of God. Our devotion then is an expression of our love to the God who has loved us first. It is very important then to experience first that we are loved by the Lord so that all our pious acts will become expressions of the love that we have received from Him. Our prayer, almsgiving, and penance then will become a response to the love that God has allowed us to experience. Those who are loved, those who have experienced what and how it is to be loved, cannot but also love and be loving. Brothers and sisters, today we begin the novena in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And during these days, we will be reflecting on the love of God for each of us. It is good to start our encounter with Him in every Eucharistic celebration by acknowledging the love that the Lord has for each of us. Looking at the image of the Sacred Heart here, we see Him carrying His heart, presenting and offering it to us. Jesus always offers us His love, and we concretely experience this when we receive Him, His body and blood in Holy Communion. This is how the Lord loves us. Let us also respond to his love by our acts of devotion expressed in prayer, almsgiving, and penance. Let us pray today to the God of truth and love for truthfulness and sincerity in the church and in the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may take to heart the task and the mission of renewal so that Christ may be clearly perceived by all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That priests and religious may be assiduous proclaimers of the gospel to their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic and community leaders may be sincere and unselfish in their effort to bring justice, dignity, and unity to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy God's everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer for protection against COVID-19. 
Dear God, our loving Father, we ask you to extend your hand over us, to protect us especially from the harm, from the threat that is brought about by COVID-19. We ask you also to continually guide and enlighten those who take care of our health, the government, our doctors, our nurses, those who are working especially in the hospitals and all the frontliners, so that they may continue their work in order to safeguard the health of the community. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and in truth through Jesus, who is our way to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these gifts in your mercy, O Lord, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, grant, we pray, that we may extend your charity to all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy, Father Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and for the divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called by the, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out the grace of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, on those who have replenished with the one bread of heaven, and refresh us, we pray, with the delights of perfect charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena Prayer to Sacred Heart. Most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with a lovely sorrow for sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make it humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant you, Jesus, that I may live in you, protect in the midst of danger, comfort me in my afflictions, give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing in all that I do, and the grace of the holy death. Amen. Day 1. With open arms, O Lord, you continue to embrace the universe. I know I am a small part of that universe, yet in your eyes I am also very important. Lord, it is by surrendering to you that you are able to bring me closer to your heart the source of all love, passion, and kindness. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.